Hi, in this video I will discuss the evidence for the Big Bang model. When we analyse the light from almost all other galaxies, we find that their stellar spectra are shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. They are red shifted. This tells us that these galaxies are moving away from us. I'll focus a little more on redshift in a later video. So the fact that all of the galaxies are moving away from us may lead us to the assumption that our galaxy must be at the centre of the universe, but that's not the case. You could measure from any point in the universe and all the other galaxies would appear to be moving away from you. If we take a look at this diagram, you can see five galaxies A, B, C, D and E before and after expansion. Note that the space in between every galaxy has increased from one unit to two units. If we take galaxy A as our starting point, then the distance from galaxy A to galaxy C was two the first time and is now four. And the distance from galaxy A to galaxy D, where it was three before, is now six. So if you were standing in galaxy A, you may feel everything is moving away from you. You must be at the center of the universe. So let's try from a different perspective. Let's imagine we were galaxy D. Well, from galaxy D's perspective, galaxy B has moved from two units away to four units away. And galaxy E has moved from one unit away to two units away. So from wherever you appear to be in the universe, in whichever direction you look, everywhere is expanding away from everything else. This is because space itself is expanding. The further the galaxy is from our vantage point, the faster it will appear to be receding from us, but more of that in my Hubble's Law video. Since the universe is expanding, it follows that if we could reverse time, the universe would be getting smaller. At some point, therefore, all of space must have been condensed into a single point. The expansion of the universe in terms of both space and time from this point is known as the Big Bang Theory. A major piece of evidence for the Big Bang is the existence of cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB radiation. This was first predicted in 1948, although it wasn't discovered until it was accidentally picked up by a radio telescope in the 1960s. CMB radiation is electromagnetic radiation that permeates all of space in all directions. This means that it is isotropic. It has very low energy, equivalent to the radiation produced by a black body at 2.73 degrees above absolute zero, 2.73 Kelvin. There are two ways for us to understand the existence of CMB radiation, and both ways are perfectly valid. The first option is to consider that the universe began very, very hot, but has cooled down over the previous 14 billion years to an average temperature of 2.73 Kelvin. Therefore, the radiation that is emitted by the universe itself is equivalent to a black body at that temperature. Option two is to consider the stretching of waves. Sometime after the Big Bang, the universe became transparent and allowed electromagnetic radiation to pass through. This radiation from the Big Bang was obviously hot and therefore high frequency and short wavelength. As this radiation travelled through the universe, the universe itself continued to expand, causing the waves to be stretched until they reached the wavelength associated with a temperature of 2.73 Kelvin. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.